welcome everyone to day three of Mental Health Month 2022. So this year's theme is Resilience, Communities and Connection. So over the month, I'm going to be talking to the theme in this series of Resilience to Recovery. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tammy Horton. I'm a mental health educator and mentor and CEO and founder of Phoenix Initiative and come by here. Today, I'm talking about the first of the resilience domains, vision. So the last two days, I've been speaking about what resilience is and isn't, what recovery is, and how resilience skills are directly linked with the pillars of recovery. We're now going to start to deep dive into the domains of resilience that make up the PR6. So their vision, composure, reasoning, health, tenacity, and collaboration. These domains make up the predictive six factor resilience scale or PR6 for short. So much easier to say. So I'm gonna start with vision, with the vision domain. And vision is all about your sense of purpose. It's about goals and what matters in your life. Having a sense that life is meaningful, providing motivation to keep going. What's particularly helpful here is it's helping you to understand what is and isn't important. So this way you can become more decisive. You can say no more easily, worry less about low priority things, and instead focus your attention on what really matters to you. So growing in vision helps you to develop clarity about your life and about your goals. So as you do this, you can achieve a state of congruence or lining up, meaning that your efforts in different parts of your life become aligned to give you a resilient approach to achieve what you want out of life. When we're looking at the research behind the PR6, Vision is the strongest predictor of resilience. So essentially, a sense of purpose has a huge effect on our ability to take challenges in our stride. Without that, we tend to struggle. So over the next few days, we're going to investigate four skills to develop the vision domain. We're going to start with understanding basic needs. Then we're going to look at having a clear sense of purpose then setting and knowing your priorities, and then using SMART goals for motivation. So let's start now with understanding your basic needs. As humans, we have three basic needs. Understanding these needs well means that you can identify why you might not be feeling your best in different situations. Understanding your basic psychological needs helps to set the stage for a sense of purpose. So this is important since if you don't consider what helps the if you don't consider what helps the brain thrive, you might experience what many people do, like something's missing, reducing our mental health and draining our motivation. And that's where these needs come in. So understanding them helps to notice what might be missing from someone's life. So it definitely helps me as a coach. And by noticing this, it gives me a clue on how I can help. So there's three key needs here, as I said. The first one is attachment, which is about our critical need for social connection. So when we lack connection, then it can feel like life isn't worthwhile since so much of our well-being is tied to social relations. COVID has had a huge impact on this area. Control and orientation are about our need for realistic options to choose from, as well as an idea about where we're heading in life. So our direction for the future. Then we've got the need to do things that we enjoy and to do less of what we don't enjoy. And this is a very primitive need. We need to be a bit careful with this one as we have conscious control over it. So let's use an example to kind of bring this to life. So let's take cleaning the house, for example, and think of this in terms of learned enjoyment. 
which is where you have the power to choose what you focus on. So do you like cleaning the house? <laughs> I don't, but I've used this strategy to help shift my view of it. So you can focus on it being boring, lots of effort, being tedious and repetitive and taking lots of time. Focusing on all of this means that it might even cause you pain and you'll want to avoid it at all costs. But this isn't very useful as we all need to do some cleaning from time to time, particularly when mum's coming to visit. <laughs> so instead, you can choose to focus on other aspects, things like how shiny the surfaces will be afterwards, how nice it will smell, how good would it be if it's all neat? So you can always focus on finding more efficient ways over time to do things and take pride in getting better at it. And you can listen to music and dance while you do it. Isn't that fun? All right, it's all about your choice in what you focus on. And in doing so, you can start to enjoy things that are also productive at the same time, like getting a bit of exercise while you clean. <laughs> Once we get an understanding of our basic needs, we can then start to focus on our sense of purpose and in particular, setting a resilient vision. So your personal vision is your sense of meaning and purpose in life. So making it resilient means you strengthen it to, in such a way that no one can ever take it away from you. Now, this develops a deep sense of confidence knowing that no matter what happens, you'll always have a sense of purpose. All right, more on that tomorrow because we've already hit our limit for today. So remember, tomorrow we're going to be talking about resilient vision, but until then, remember to always be a phoenix. Bye for now.